just been sent this product. You can't see it at the minute because it's above me. Uh, it's a telescope and it's the Andenstar, A-N-D-O-N-S-T-A-R. Uh, it's the ADS M302. It's got the five inch monitor on it, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, and it says that it's, it's used for soldering and phone repairs because you can get right into the detail and stuff like that. Um, it also records, which is what you're going to be seeing now. Bring that into focus. Look at that. What quality that is. You can see every little bit of detail. I thought I'd clean this coin until I looked under this microscope at all the little bits on it. I've got this, which is the uh, cleaning kit, cosmetic cleaning kit. Uh, I'll put a link to that as well, you can have a look at that. Uh, it's com composite cleaning pencils, but I'm gonna use just that. It's just like a little, it's like using a for Hawthorne, which is what they use in the um, museums for cleaning. The archers use it. Now I'm going to zoom in and see if I can clean all the tiny little bits of dirt off. But let's zoom in now with the Andenstar. You have to keep checking the name. Andenstar. We zoom in now. Look at that absolute quality. Um, but now we're going to go a bit closer. We're going to zoom right in and look at the coin. You'll be amazed. Okie dokie. Right, let's have a look. Let's just bring... Just bring that focus back in. Uh, a little bit closer now. And then I can turn the knobs and I can go... At the minute, you've also got these lights, both sides, which I'm, I'll mess with these lights now and I'll show you on the screen. This is, what you're seeing now with the coin is the recording recording from the Andenstar microscope. You can adjust the lights to suit bring the detail out, make it pop, look at that, that's cracking that isn't it, but that still looks pretty clean when you look at that magnification, let's go in a bit deeper, crystal clear right so that looks pretty clean until I go round let's just zoom in a bit that's fine so if you look now you can just see on that curl there there's a bit more crud excuse the fingers Even this implement is too. Too thick, and that's like a pinprick. Above the G, there. <laughs> so precise, I'm not into cleaning coins this much to the little grinds of mud you can get off it though it would take some getting used to because it's so minuscule that is crazy It's crazy. That's just the bottom. There's his hand, there's his fingers. Look there. One, two, three. That's the bottom of his scepter. Spin it around a little bit. 
you can see his rest of his steps are coming up. There's his hand holding the there's the ball at the bottom of his scepter. As the scepter comes up. Little tiny monoscules of No way, you can just see the little bits of fluff dust coming up. See it? Every little nook and cranny. Where's that? I'm looking. I don't even know where I'm looking at on that. It's quite easy to do it from looking at the screen. Oh, I see where I am now. This is in between the eyes, as in like the one, one, one. We'll see the next eye. I thought it was a bogey on that one. <sighs> see the tiny little bits of fluff coming up, like the, the bits of grit, and, and I'm only touching it very lightly. Insane. That is insane. <laughs> that is mega cleaning. of a coin that you thought was absolutely cleaned out to the max anyway. You can get every little, every little bit out, as long as you've got the tool to get into the nooks and crannies. This is a little bit too thick. It is weird to use because you're looking at when I don't use the looking through the, uh, the screen above, which I'll show you what the screen looks like in a minute. When I'm not looking, right, well, you can see what I'm looking at through the TV, but I'm looking at a five inch screen. And I, when, I, when I look from that and look down at the coin, I can't even see what I'm meant to be looking at. But when I look through the screen above, it's mad. It's just, it's hard to explain. Wow, see the little tiny bits of sand. <laughs> Just flicks it out. I think I'll get in there. Very, very lightly. That's crazy. That is really, I'm really impressed. Really impressed. If you're into cleaning coins, gently and carefully, <laughs> this is what you need. I think it's about 230 quid. I don't know if there's different ones. Different ones, different prices, etc. But this one is freaking awesome. I mean, I'll just clean up around his eyes a bit. Look at that, man. He's can't get in there. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm not talking now. I've gone all silent. It's because I'm concentrating. Sorry. I just can't. I've just got smack. A little hairline crack there. You would never know that's there. zoom out again i'll zoom out a bit you got the gist of what it what this capabilities of oh i'll just bring it more back up a bit. if you're into cleaning the coins that little mic that little that microscope is mega you can connect it to your uh, TV, so you've got you've got a little five-inch monitor. You can also connect it to your massive TV through a HDMI lead, which comes with it. And you've also got <laughs> a remote control, so you can do it all off the remote control, watch all the videos back and everything like that. Uh, and you can do it live while you're doing. You can clean your pens, you can clean your coins, or clean whatever you. you or, or, whatever you use the microscope for, you can do it live through the TV. Now, as you're cleaning it, you're looking at the telly. So you're gonna get the, you, this cleaning stuff that you'll need, a little tiny little, that there that I've been using from the composite cleaning pencil uh, set. It's just a tiny little spike. And when you're underneath that microscope, that looked like I was using my phone. So you, you need even, you need to get even smaller cleaning stuff than that to get right in the nooks and crannies. That's mega, mega, top top quality. Um, if if any of you have used one of these already, let me know you're getting on. Uh, what else to use it for? What other ideas? I'm going. Ah, oh, that'd be good. It'd be good to use it for my jewelry making. The intricate bits when I've got a solder and stuff like that, and put it under the microscope. Get it all together, make sure there's no gaps, so the solder runs better. Mm. Good idea. All right, thanks for watching. Just thought I'd show it, yeah. I just got it out of the box and I was like, fuck, that's mega. That is mega. Mm.